Ponyville Comic Con. I can't believe we're here. Am I squeeing? Is this what squeeing feels like? Adventuring Daily reports that A.K. Yearling is going to make a very important announcement at our panel. How about anything? She's going to announce her new Daring Do book. Thank you for coming, everyone. It's wonderful to be here in Ponyville with you all. I'm afraid I come before you today with bittersweet news. Just last month, I made the mistake of reading fanfiction unprotected. I have subsequently been diagnosed with the literary transmitted disease, writer's block. But take heart, my friends. A dear friend and brilliant author of fantasy literature has agreed to take on the remainder of the series. Mares and gentle colts here to read an excerpt from his upcoming novel, Daring Do, A Soiree of Stabbings, Mr. George R. R. Merton. Ahem. Chapter XXXXXVI, page 17,946, The Red Gala. Daring Do marveled at the feast set before the Maharaja's table. Honeyed hot bread stacked high with dandelion butter, blackberry cake brushed with coriander and nutmeg. A rasher of blackened fish, chilled monkey root swimming in maple syrup and overflowing flagons of strong black ale. So enamored with the grand feast was she that Daring failed to notice the cruel turn of the Maharaja's lips or his slight nod towards Daring's child companion, Small Fry. Daring barely felt the blade thrust quickly and efficiently by small fry between her ribs. Daring collapsed, her wings fluttering helplessly, her legs kicking but finding no purchase as life fell away. The unknowing faceless gods were silent and offered no comfort in the coming dark. As oblivion closed in, small fry, her once trusted companion, leaned in and sweetly whispered, Aoi Zotl sends his regards. <coughs> yes, well, there you have it. I'll take my payment now, half in bit, half in the sweet tears of fans served with capers and wild mushrooms burned black. 